news. Now, we have a visual treat for you for the next few minutes because uh, the winning images in this year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition have been made public. This stunning picture of a young polar bear sleeping on an iceberg captured by the British amateur photographer Nima Sarakani was the people's choice among an absolute roll call of fabulous pictures. Well, let's go live now to the Natural History Museum's Pauline Roberts, who is the head of the Wildlife Photographer of the Year programme. Uh, Pauline, welcome. What a great job you've got. Uh, I mean, this is an absolutely stunning image, isn't it, this polar bear one? Good afternoon. Absolutely. What, what a stunning selection. So every year we choose 25 images, or the jury chooses um, 25 images um, to be then voted on uh, by the public. And this year, the, the selection was, was amazing as usual, the, the beauty of that polo bear, uh, but the tenderness um, as well of that lion cub um, being groomed by, by two mothers, or even some, some humorous um, uh, species interactions like, like the turtle and the dragonfly. I'll, I'll, so I'll, it's, I'll been, it's the, been a tough one. I'll, I'll come to those other ones in a moment, but still on the screen is that winning image of the polar bear. I mean, as always with photography at its best, it, it tells a story. And in this case, uh, it is about climate change and habitat loss, isn't it? That's what the photographer says he was actually trying, they were trying to portray here. Absolutely, and, and, and they did wait um, for, for quite a while, um, uh, more than three days, to find um, two, two polar bears and take that photo. Um, it, it tells also the, the, the story of a rapidly changing world, and although the population of the polar bears in that region um, is, is stable, um, it is possible that with temperature rising, that they will really, these iconic animals will really struggle in the future um, to continue to live. I want to put onto the screen those images that you referenced a moment or two ago, that Balkan turtle and the lionesses. Uh, I love that one on the right of the screen, grooming a cub. Uh, just tell me briefly why, why you picked those two. So, so the, the jury, actually, the, the panel of international experts that um, gather every year um, to select those images, they look for unusual shots um, images that are unique um, and that are also excellent photographs and and that that portrait of that little um, cub looking straight at you but being being groomed um, by two mothers and that sort of shared parenting moment is is very very moving give me an idea of uh, of just how many pictures get sent into you for, for a competition like this and and as always it, it must be really tricky for, for a jury because they are so different some of them to, to try and work out which ones to highly commend which ones to actually win it is a very difficult job we um we received for that competition we received nearly 50,000 entries from all around the world and the jury have the very difficult uh, job to um, choose 100 for the main competition and then another 25 for People's Choice Award. And they, they choose um, uh, creativity, they choose of, of obviously uh, technical excellence, um, it has to be amazing photographs, but also the stories behind the photographs are really important. Um, and that's why we, we have such a variety of amazing images that are so unique um, from photographers all over the world. Well, you're exactly right, because we've been showing just a roll call of them as you've been speaking. I'm going to put another single image on, which was uh, of the Northern Lights. And I want you just to, to describe to us, because uh, you have here the whole practical difficulty of photography on or around water. How did they... How did they pull off an image like this? Well, it's a very experienced um, photographer. Is it the Aurora Jelly's uh, photograph? Um, and um, they, they have their own techniques and they've had to work with long exposure. Uh, so it requires a lot of skills and very um, uh, trained and experienced photographers to take those kind of photos. Now, all of these photos, these winners, uh, the highly commended, I think they're on display at the Natural History Museum. How does it work? Does a display like that get physically taken around the world or it just exists where it is now and, and available online for, for people actually to, to see more of, of these images? 
Absolutely. So the the um, exhibition in London um, is visible until the 30th of June, but actually the images are also available online and they go on tour all around the world every year. So they are seen by millions of people and um, that, that's what we would like to do. We've only got about uh, a minute and a half less as we go through uh, more of the photographs. Uh, just tell me, because the jury are sat, they have chosen... What did you like best? So actually, I, I have a favorite in the people's choice. It was um, a species that is very rare, an Ethiopian wolf. I don't know if you have it in the, in your selection on uh, rotation, uh, um, uh, but it... <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, it is also the duty of the, the competition to raise awareness about species that are not as known and that um, might be suffering from um, human impact or habitat loss or any effect from climate change. And there are some some beautiful um, uh, beautiful examples um, in in the selection. Whether it's People's Choice or the main um, uh, uh, hundred um, winners in the competition. Um, so they all tell very important stories about the natural world, the, its beauty, as you've seen in many of these um, uh, in, in these images, but also its fragility and the fact that we we have a duty to um, look after this natural world that brings us such exquisite moments. Well, Pauline Robert, uh, you're absolutely right about exquisite moments and exquisite photographs. You, you gave our poor director a bit of a heart attack by uh, quoting and referencing uh, your particular favourite. He's literally going through all of his list uh, looking for it. I don't think he actually My quite apologies. got there. But uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, and taking us through all those wonderful photographs. I'm back with headlines here on the programme in a moment or two.